Hello, I hope you are doing well. Uh, in this video, I am going to solve some ODs and PDs uh, in, this for, in these videos. Uh, and uh, firstly, I uh, must uh, define ODs and PDs for you uh, for a short definition. If uh, we have just uh, one uh, dependent independent variable, we have uh, ODE. For example, uh, this equation that we have Q dot equal to rho CP and DA T per DA x it is a equation that uh, shows heat transfer in a uh, excuse me t it is time term. and it shows the change uh, changing of temperature by time in a lump system we have one dependent variable that is temperature and one independent variable okay this equation is ODE okay so uh, for example uh, we can have more complex uh, ODEs for example uh, if we have sorry for bad writing to F DF power to F DAT 2 minus F D F per D T plus D F per D T multiply two equal minus E T equal zero. It is a more complex uh, ODE. We have just a independent uh, variable and one dependent variable. Uh, and uh, for solving this kind of equations, uh, you can use Kamsol multiphysics, and uh, it is possible that you solve. Uh, ODEs, this kind of examples, when you have just one dependent, uh, independent variable and you can, uh, for example, uh, solve partial differential equations in the equation that you uh, have more than one dependent variable. For example, K per run per power 2 T temperature x2 ground T y2 equal to rho cp ground T from the time. So we have a dependent variable here, dependent variable, this temperature, that uh, and three independent variable, two directions, x, y, and time. For solving ODEs, there are a lot of uh, actually ways that you can solve this kind of equation for ODEs. Uh, you can uh, refer to different techniques for different kinds of uh, ODEs, but for PDEs, when you have more than one uh, independent variable and your system uh, changes with different uh, depend independent variables, uh, sometimes uh, you must use numerical techniques because for some equations there there are uh, no uh, 
technical uh, solution so it is important to use take a, the numerical techniques and solve the equation by this way so uh, the, the most important point is uh, in your equations because you are just working with PDEs and there are no uh, dimension we use ODEs but when you want to uh, use other independent variables such as direction you can draw geometry and use that uh, so i start with a simple technique i add global ODEs and uh, excuse me i can add it in this part in mathematics section ODEs and study we can choose how i want to solve my problem i want to solve it in the uh, <coughs> time dependent so uh, the question that I want to solve is q dot equal rho cp dt with dt time. So I put it in a normal way q dot minus rho sorry rho cp dt where dt time equal zero so this is our equation so I use this equation to solve by this technique. I define here my dependent variable, which parameter are uh, changes with uh, time. It is temperature. And uh, here I define my equation, okay? I define Q minus rho cp dt per dt time rho cp time it is a in uh, it is dependent variable and it is the first derivation term of this one okay so i have uh, written this uh, equation here uh, and when I put my mouse here there is uh, he it said it says me uh, unknown variable Q because I must define what is rho what is uh, Q what is CP and uh, I defined T here and this T in time dependent so the software know this term but not others uh, I can define these parameters here and in variable section here what is differences between two sections if you define your variables in this part you can watch your calculations if you put them in this part uh, you just can uh, you can uh, actually track the results of calculations for example i if i for example define q w here and uh, i define it for 0.5 and ui for example 605 and its unit for example centimeter and this one for example Kelvin okay uh, so I define the new variable a s for example that is this one multiplied with this one when when you have red uh, writing red characters it means there is a drastic issue it means you have a problem in writing of that uh, part okay so uh, you see there is a value of calculation with its SI uh, unit 
that's it but in this section you put the things that are changing parameters mean the things that are uh, constant in this section the things that they are changing another point that uh, if you right click on global definition because I saw uh, some people uh, maybe you uh, actually use uh, this variable for defining this section if you are working with this component it is much better to define your variable in this part not this in this section okay if I define parameters here because the parameters are constants everywhere in the simulation because in more complex simulations we may have multiple components and uh, so we must separate these parts from each other so I define Q here for example I recommend you use this part because sometimes it can sorry red what her square meter it is Q another one is row I copy this variable here I okay it is row and another one is for example Okay, uh, the unit of uh, this part, if you want to make your uh, system uh, appropriately, you can put units here and even you can uh, use this section to uh, define your units. Uh, I can just write constants and use other parts because I think it is more easier because the, the, the software uh, match the units so here I have a dependent variable quantity my dependent variable is what temperature so its unit is Kelvin source term quantity what is the source term quantity the source term quantity is Q because it is my equation it is a plus a source of my equation that is a watt per a square meter okay so it is my equation I defined it <coughs> uh, for continuing I must solve my equation uh, in this section uh, I choose uh, the range of not, uh, times that I want to uh, my equations become solved okay after running if I click on a study and compute I have my run here yeah, it is my uh, dependent variable with uh, dip, uh, versus with uh, time or my independent variable uh, and uh, it is the first uh, example I will uh, introduce you more complex equations in following uh, videos <coughs>